guest's voice, as you heard, is so beautiful and probably recognizable to those fans of Celtic women. She was one of the ensemble of that show. And Lisa Kelly now has brought her gift to us by way of Pana Vidra with her own Voice Academy. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm delighted to be here. Gorgeous day. It is. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful. We have a lot of great music here today on, at Unity Plaza. Your, your Academy isn't open yet. Not opening yet. We're opening the 1st of February. We're very excited. And, and who can come and attend class? Anybody can come and attend class. We have classes. We have an academy in Peachtree City, Georgia, and we opened back in February 2013. And we have all, we have all ages. We have kids as younger as six. We have adults up to 75, they won't mind me saying. And we have kids who have never sung before, adults who have never sung before, to people who are auditioning to go to New York to do musicals and things. So it's a real mix. It's for anyone. It's for anyone who just wants to improve their voice and their performance. Okay, I'm going to share. I'm going to share microphones with you. I was just told that mine isn't picking up, so we're going to share if you That's don't mind. Fine. No problem. Uh, but uh, you're going to be the sole user of this microphone in just a minute. I promise you that. So when you say that you have all levels and all goals, do you really have people who walk in to learn how to better just maybe sing in the shower and in karaoke next to somebody who's really going off to audition for a college scholarship? Absolutely. I mean, I have different classes. So I do, like, I, I try and suss it out a bit and try and put people together with their experience and things like that. But it's certainly, like, on a, on a daily basis, like, one class after another, I could have someone who's never, ever sung before. And really, their only ambition is just to build their confidence. And, you know, singing is so personal. It's such a huge thing. It's everybody's most nerve-wracking experience. And I I think for people to understand that it's also my most nerve-wracking experience we all have that but it's just to learn how to do it properly so that you don't feel like you can't stand up and sing a song if somebody asks you to do it so if I were to ask you right now hey well I imagine as a performer this would be nothing for you if I just said hey I'm gonna give you the mic can you give us I don't know 45 seconds to a minute of your favorite Christmas song I could do that all right let's do that <laughs> and so This simple phrase to kids from one to ninety-two. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to Thank you. <laughs> that was wonderful. You're getting an applause from the Chris Thomas band up there, and they know they know good music. Uh, so speaking of good music, though, the Celtic women, how long did you perform with them? I was, we started in 2004, and I didn't leave until the end of 2011, so nearly eight years. So when, uh, do you ever have anybody come who attends your academy in your other academy that wants to specifically learn that type of music? Oh yeah, I think when I opened there initially, it, I was like, I had an influx of Celtic woman fans who wanted to learn and, and I kept trying to say, well, you're not Irish, so you can't be in Celtic woman, but we can certainly make you sound like that. And you know, it, Celtic woman was all about, there was a huge, for me, it, it was great because there was such a diverse, uh, group of singers. We were all from different backgrounds, so I got to do my musical theatre-y, poppy kind of stuff, Chloe got to do her classical stuff, the original girls got to do traditional, more classical stuff, so it's great when people do come to the Academy and go, oh, you know, I want to sing like Celtic Women, I'm like, great, which one are you? This would be great. <laughs> that is so great. So we've now established, no matter the age, the style, the <laughs> level, there is a spot for you at the, uh, at the Lisa Kelly Voice Academy, and for that we go to lisakellyvoiceacademy.com, correct? The Lisa Kelly Voice Academy. Academy.com. Yes. Thank you so much, Lisa. You. That I have I have goosebumps from that. Mark, 